Till now, I just explained the preparation of LandSurvey app for Android at Glossophay Wizard. I talked about settings, connecting to an external DNS receiver and adding layers. After having done that, we can start with the real work in this LandSurvey app for Android. We can start mapping. In this video, I explain you how to map a point. So we are in the mapping screen of App Survey Wizard. To map a point, there are some things important. First of all, you can only map a point when you receive enough satellite signals. In this Land Survey app for Android, you can see that you receive enough satellite signals here. When it is green, you receive enough satellite signals. When you only use an Android device, next to this icon, it says Android device. But when you use an external DNS receiver, then it should say RTK as an indication that you have a fix. Further, of course, you have to select the layer as I explained in the previous video about the Land Survey app for Android. When you have done all that, you can map a point by clicking the point button. Abglos Survey Wizard shows then a point on the map and that is the point where you are at that moment. Isn't that easy? If you think it's easy, give this video a like. Also subscribe if you want to know more about this Land Survey app for Android Abglos Survey Wizard. In the video next to me, you can see more about GPS surveying. Thanks for watching and enjoy using Abglos Survey Wizard.